All right, guys, I'm going to show you the best pressure that you could possibly get in Madden 22. It's a blitzing concept that was really effective a couple of years ago, and this year it's actually 100% back. And what I like about this is this allows you to have uh, symmetrical pressure, so you can get pressure off of, um, off of either side. It doesn't matter necessarily um, in terms of the fact that the pressure is the pressure, right? So it's going to come off of either side. Uh, let me give you an example here. We're going to go over the setup here in just a second. But if you have not subscribed to the channel yet, I would encourage you to do that. Uh, my channel is focusing in on helping people become the best Madden player they can possibly become. So if you're looking to get better at this game, I just want to encourage you to click that subscribe button down below. Like I said, it's completely free to do that. Now, the play. Let's get into the play real quick. This comes to us out of the Dime 146. You can also do this out of the 236 Sam. Um, they're good out of both sets. Um, this is a concept more so than a money blitz, but I don't think they actually have the play in this, so I guess you can't do it out of that, but you can do it out of 146. You can also do this out of dollar this year, which is really nice um, if you're a 4-6 nickel 335 wide guy. But anyways, the play is Crossfire out of Dime 146. And with this, what I would recommend, um, well, it doesn't really matter. We'll just go over the play. So dime 146 cross three fire. And it's really simple. All we're going to do is we're just going to press coverage and we're gonna blitz the slot of which side, whichever side we want. And then we're gonna contain him. So what I like to do is kind of bring both slots in just like this and then grab the middle linebacker. So you see, this is what the setup, um, this is what the setup kind of looks like. Again, the practice mode with the registering of the adjustments this year is really kind of annoying. But basically, if you can get the thing to actually contain off the edge here, um, you can stand wherever you want with your user. That's another thing that I like about this. So I could bring this guy down, for example, fast face defending bunch, I can bring that guy down. And I could stand over here if I wanted to. And what you should see is uh, we should get that pressure coming either through the middle or through the edge. And that's what I like about this cross three fire kind of looping defense this year is it's really, really good um, for pressure. I think this is gonna be a year where this loop is gonna be probably the best blitzing concept uh, in the game. If you spread your line, um, you can do that as well. You'll see you might get a little bit cleaner pressure. Um, and obviously if you stand over here, you should get a little bit cleaner pressure anyway. But you see here, this is kind of the base look, snap the ball. And as you see here, we get the looping pressure kind of coming through right through the A gap. So. This is a super simple defense. Um, there's not too much uh, to it. But what I like about this is you can do it off both sides. So, for example, if I wanted to blitz this slot corner, slide him in. Okay, so I'm just going to slide him in just like so. And then I'm going to crash my line down. And then I'm just using right in here. Um, now what I can do is I can have pretty good coverage on that running back side. And then my job is just if they throw to the flats, i got to go get to the flats. So right here you see loop pressure comes in and the edge pressure comes in. This is also a really good blitzing concept in terms of if they block a running back. And the reason why it's so good against a blocked running back is because the loop pressure will oftentimes uh, be able to kind of suck the running back into the middle of the field, which will allow this edge pressure to come off the edge or um, the loop pressure will just come in itself. So again, I'm just gonna kind of stand right here and what you'll see is the looping pressure comes around. And that time the block running back did help me but anyways, this is kind of the concept. And what I like about this is this keeps the nose tackle in the middle field. So they don't know, like they don't know where the pressure is coming from. On either play, they're not gonna know, is it coming from the left or is it coming from the right? And so that's one of my favorite little things is, you know, you can send it off both edges. As you see right there, that time we got a little held up, but anywho, this is a really fun little concept. The other thing that I really like about this is let's say that you're someone that likes a little bit of a passive pressure. This is something that I like to do personally. All you have to do is just run this. This is a four man version of it. And what I like to do, I'm just gonna kind of sit. I like to move my user over on this side of the field um, just because I think it's a little bit better for the defense. But anyways, what you're gonna see is if you do this, the looping pressure will oftentimes come through the four man loop as you saw right there. So you've got the loop in terms of the five man, but you've also got the four man. Um, and you even have like what you could also do if you wanted to is you could actually set this up where it's four to this side. So you could drop Barrett into like a hard flat, come over here with your user. And I find that this is a really good setup for getting that edge rush or around the edge as you can see right there. So anyways, this is just something to kind of tinker with. It's really probably a little bit better out of the dollar defense just because of the way the linemen are kind of gonna be on the line of scrimmage. 
but 146 is really good this year and dollar is really good obviously if they're coming out in a heavy run set you don't want to be in this defense but if they're passing this is a great third down and long or fourth down and long or end of half defense for when you know they have to pass you're going to be able to send pressure and real quick just wanted to kind of show this also let's say for example that they block a running back so if they block a running back um number one like i said the loop will often come in even against that but you can also blitz both slots off the edge and now double contain and now you can pretty much like guarantee um you can pretty much guarantee that you're gonna get some type of pressure here so again you see here we got the contain off both both edges um let me just slide this guy in just to kind of the contains are kind of being a little weird but the contain is really important for the defense so then what you can see is what we can do uh with in a situation like this is we can drop a hard flat on that right side of the field and then maybe you know do whatever we want we could jump to the flat over here on the right side it doesn't really matter but anyways i just want to show you that if they you send this pressure you're going to get pretty heavy pressure coming in at the quarterback um even against a block running back so this is just kind of a this is just kind of a fun little defense i think you're going to have a lot of success with this uh, i think it's going to be something that you can use like i said in situations like fourth down or third down and long this is like a really good little concept um, to be able to run and again i'm just going to block the running back and show you but just heavy pressure um, you should get it off see we get it from different directions that's also a really good uh defense of course they only run send out three routes now you've only got three routes but you're only sending six people um, you're sitting six, they're blocking seven, and you're getting a guy free through the A gap or through the loops or through the edge rushes. So, this defense is pretty solid, and again, you can kind of adjust it accordingly. But Dime 146 Cross Through Fire is back, so I wanted to let you know about that. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And like I said, if you want to get notified or if you want to get the defense as soon as it comes out, simply text the word Madden to 208 218 6900, and I'll shoot you a text message as soon as we release. The, uh, the, the defensive guide. Right now I'm leaning towards the New York Giants. Um, I think they have the best defense overall because you can play big nickel. You can also play 3-3-5 wide and 3-3-5 odd this year. I think 3-3-5 odd is probably the best uh, blitzing defense at the beginning of the year. And then you also got a bunch of other concepts really well uh, kind of put into that defense. So thanks for your time. Thanks for your support. And again, if you want to sign up to get notified or to get a free sample of that defense, just text the word Madden to 208-218-6900.